Hi guys, this is Chef Milka coming to you today as promised. We're starting something new, something very innovative and that something that to teach people some simple, basic dishes that we can all make at home and enjoy with our loved ones. So today I'm gonna be preparing potato croquettes. It's a very simple dish and you can take it it's a simple dish but you can be creative with it as you want with extra ingredients that you can add inside while i'll take you through the video i will explain to you and i'll give you some tips on what you can uh, that you can uh, in, in, indulge in the in the recipes and to make it an extra delicious meal that you can eat as a side dish or accompany it with some starch some protein as well so stay tuned and we're gonna start just now thanks ingredients that you're gonna need four large boiled potatoes three eggs some flour some breadcrumbs and some vegetable oil we are ready to go. You're all we need. To start You're off, here. you boil your if potatoes. While when you boil your if when your potatoes are nice and soft and tender, you mash them. And in your potatoes, you add some salt, some pepper, just to season and taste. And uh, Sometimes I'd like to use some Parmesan cheese in my potatoes, some um, chorizos, sausages in my potatoes just to mix it up a bit and give it some more flavor for my potato croquettes. But today I'm just making the simple one for everybody just to get the hang of it. And yeah, you can just take it another notch up with extra ingredients as you please according to your taste. So basically what I'm doing today is just the basic one, the plain potato croquette. Feel free to add some extra stuff that you need to add, some sausages, some cheeses. It's nice and flavorful. The cheese especially, it makes it nice and gooey. So that's about it. And um, yeah, we start. We start off with our, baked, uh, our boiled potatoes, some raw eggs. So what we'll do, you'll be doing is you take the potatoes and you mash them and uh, after mashing them just like take, a, take an extra plate you take some few you can either use all of it like right now or just use a few while you use a mesher if you don't have a mesher you can use a fork and um, depending on how you like your potato your mashed potatoes I like mine, depends on my mood, but I like it nice and smooth. Sometimes I like it chunky, depending on my mood. So, yeah, you just give it a nice mash a few times, you just pound it a little bit until it's nice and smooth. You don't have to make it so fine and just. Make sure just there's no lumps and all, no uh, big parts of potatoes still in the mix. I think that's about it for now. That's my potato. You add some some eggs, some um sorry, you add some spices. I like to add some paprika to mine, some black pepper. You add some salt as well. I did put some salt while I was boiling the, the potatoes. Add some, some salt and then you add as well some um, butter if you want that depends on you but mine I will not put butter and then you just stir it you just stir it after stirring it you give it a nice stir I already have my three bowls where as I said you prepare your three bowls one with some all-purpose flour and one with some two beaten eggs in the 
in this mixture here add one egg because the egg helps to combine everything together and keep the croquettes nice and firm after doing one egg you just stir it up a bit just make sure it's all nice and blend it all together nicely yes our potatoes are, are nice well made I've just scooped one right now I took one and I scooped it and I just give it a little bit of a, a nice shape ball shape and after doing that I take that put it into my flour just make sure it's nice and well coated in the flour after it's well coated just remove the excess flour make sure the excess flour is removed and then I dip it into my egg after dipping it in my egg in my egg just remove it and stop it doesn't want us to behave itself and then put it into my bread crumbs voila nice well coated make sure that the bread crumbs takes everywhere make sure it's well coated so it's well coated you can make it into bowl shapes or you can make it into cylinders sticks so it's just up to you up to what you feel like i like to mix it up a bit i make some balls some in balls and some in sticks so here you have it after all making all the crumbs in, in batches in all the croquettes dipping it into the flour in the egg and then the bread crumbs this is the result and you can continue with the rest of the, the, the croquettes this is what i have now and voila we are ready to fry so here we go we are going to fry now our potato croquettes take one each Make sure that the oil is very hot and ready for the frying. You can just fry it in batches. You don't need to feel um, you don't need to feel the pan full and make sure that there is enough oil because it's a shallow fry. So otherwise, your potatoes are going to stick. So I'm just putting a few in here and that's it. Four in there. Yes, as you fry, just make sure that at least three minutes on each side until nice and golden brown. Then you can remove it from the oil. Put it into a uh, into a plate, a plate or whatever you can find the bowl with a pepper towel in it, and you remove it. You make sure that there's a pepper towel so that you can the excess oil can be off. Yeah, you're ready to serve. Our potato croquettes is ready to be served and eaten and enjoyed it's looking so nice and crispy on the outside and so soft on the inside and so creamy on the inside and as a suggestion I have served it with stir frying as you know potatoes are so versatile and especially the crumb the potato croquettes are so so versatile you can eat it with anything it's a side dish you can eat it as a side dish you can eat it as a snack lunch or whatever up to you but for today i'm serving it with it's going along with the chicken stir fry noodles that you see on the on my right hand side and yeah i've just mixed a few vegetables inside just to give it a 
some spiced up and I can't just wait to dig in and eat enjoy it see you next time from my kitchen to your kitchen bye thank you so much for following us and for watching this few minutes video of tutorial on how to make our croquettes don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and like our facebook page and share as well to your friends and family and join us next time